Llama 3.2, one of the most powerful open source large language model which you can run locally on your computer. How can you do that? By running it locally on your computer, your data remains private and also the performance is faster. Generally, you can use Llama 3.2 for any code assistant, for code generation, for any question and answering, for data analysis, for language translation. If you want to do any work privately to learn, to automate creative writing and for research, this will enhance your productivity with more security. Llama 3.2, one of the top performing open source model, as you can see here. So how we can run using Llama and also LM Studio locally. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how you can install Llama 3.2 locally on your computer using Llama and LM Studio. I'm also going to show you how you can integrate this with your own application, which runs completely local. First, go to olama.com and download Olama. You have various versions for macOS, Linux, and Windows. Choose accordingly. Once after you download, in your terminal, type Olama pull Llama 3.2 and then click enter. This will automatically download the Llama 3.2 model from Olama. If you see here, there are two versions. One is 1 billion parameter model and 3 billion parameter model. By doing Olama pull Llama 3.2, you're going to download 3 billion parameter model. For developers, using Olama is super useful, which means you can directly integrate this in your application. So once after you pull Llama 3.2, Llama 3.2 started running behind the scenes. So if you want to ask any quick questions, just type Olama run Llama 3.2. This will automatically run the Llama 3.2 model. And here you can type any message. I can just say, give me a meal plan for me today. And you can see the performance is super fast and it's automatically generating me the run, like breakfast, lunch, dinner evening snack. Similarly, you are able to ask any question. This can be used for rack process, for AI agents, for automation. Do subscribe for more about that. Next, I'm going to show you how we can use LM Studio and what is the difference between Olama and LM Studio. So go to lmstudio.ai website. There you should be able to download LM Studio. Once after you download, if you open LM Studio, this is how it's going to look like, the interface. There you can just type 3.2 and then I'm going to search for that. Now I can see from LM Studio community, I've got Llama 3.2. 3 billion and 1 billion parameter model. So I'm going to download Llama 3.2, 3 billion parameter model. So on the right hand side, you should be able to download any of this quantized version. So if your computer has large size and a great spec, then go for the larger quantized version. As you can see here, the size increases. So the larger the computer, just try using the larger quantized version because the accuracy will be higher when you use the larger one. But in my case, I've downloaded 2 GB version. So once after you download, you can go to the chat, AI chat section on the left hand side. Then at the top, select the model, Llama 3.2 instruct model. And now it's loading. Now same as before, I can ask any questions here. Give me a daily meal plan. And it's going to generate me a daily meal plan. So what is the key difference between Olama and LM Studio? LM Studio is used when you don't want to integrate in your own application or mainly it's focused on users with non-programming skills. So it's just a matter of downloading the model and asking questions directly. But Olama is comparatively developer friendly. So I'm going to show you how you can integrate this Olama and also LM Studio in your application. First, I'm going to terminal, just pip install OpenAI and then click enter because we are going to use OpenAI SDK, which means even if you change different models or providers such as LM Studio and Olama, it's easy to move across. It's a centralized package. So once after you do that, just create a file called app.py and open it. Inside the file, first step from OpenAI, import OpenAI. Next, client equals OpenAI. Here is the change happens. So we are providing the base URL. This is for Olama base URL. And we are providing a fake, key. that's it. Just this two information. And next step, response equals client chat completions create. Then you are asking a question here. Give me a meal plan for me today. So we are using Llama 3.2. And that's it, we are just printing the response. Just only this bit of code and you have created an application integrating Llama 3.2 and we are going to run this. So you can ask any questions here and it's able to answer. Now I'm going to run this in your terminal, Python app.py and then click in. And I've got the answer here and I got the meal plan for the whole week. That's really good. Now with the same code, how I can integrate LM Studio. So coming to LM Studio, there is an icon called local server. So LM Studio also supports developers in integrating that in their own application. So here you can see icon called start server. Just click on that. And at the top, you can see it's already 
you're running Llama 3.2. So now it's all ready. As you can see here, the only area to change is this. The port number was 1234. So let's go back to the code. So here I'm changing only this port number, 1234. That's it. And we are ready to use LM Studio integrated in your application. Now I'm going to run this, Python app.py, and then click enter. Even here in LM Studio log, we can see the response is getting generated. And finally, I got the response here. Same as before, seven day daily meal plan. This simplifies the process of running a large language model locally on your computer, which has advanced knowledge of summarizing, asking question and answer, providing a data and asking questions based on that, that is RAG, integrating that with AI agents, and much more. I'm going to cover more in this channel, so do subscribe. And thanks for